Hello dear friends, let's talk about problems of Opel Meriva B. During the production period the Opel Meriva B was offered with two 1.4 engines with slightly different power and characteristics. The base with natural suction reached 100 horsepower and only comes with a 5-speed manual transmission. The turbo version has 140 horsepower, you can count on 6 speed and automatic also in a weaker 120 horsepower. Diesels originally included the Italian 1.3 CDTI and Japanese 1.7 CDTI Isuzu construction. After the restyling it was replaced by the new 1.6 CDTI in 3 power versions, 95, 110 and 136 horsepower. Reasonable dynamics will give the Meriva over 110 horsepower and if someone likes performance they should reach for the strongest variants. Interestingly, petrol engines can be powered by LPG without any worries. The 1.4T of 120 horsepower is even offered with the factory installation. The diesel engine had a loss of engine power, mainly due to clogged EGR valves, which had to be cleaned. For diesel engines, note the blockage of the DPF filter. Most of the problems occurred due to poor communication between the control units and the servo pump. The fault was called code 68. It was necessary to reprogram or replace the servo pump. The repair was performed even after the expiration of the warranty without any cost for the owners. Common floating flywheel issues. Problems manifest as the appearance of vibration and noise between acceleration and idling. To remedy the problem, the flywheel and usually even the clutch need to be replaced. The problem with gear shifting with manual transmission is often clutch failure. Some models have encountered the problems with door unlocking and locking. It was necessary to replace the switch. There are electricity failures, mainly parking sensors and air sensors in the wheels. Not all vehicles have them. Critical points Opel's is a poor quality exhaust system quickly produces excessive noise and a coolant reservoir that flushes. It is set quite low, so it is difficult to see the defect. Sensitivity to bumps on the road, especially on non-metallic paints. Parking brake when starting in unintentionally unlock the electrical parking brake. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.